Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to look at understanding the XML files associated to cases. So we're going to, going to begin by opening up a standard XML file. So this is what the XML file represents. So if we go into the case you have this XML example def at the bottom there. So we're just going to open this up with notepad++. Plus plus. So what we've got here is we have got the XML file that describes our case. So at the top here we have our execution parameters. If you remember those, so that's what we have here. So if we go in here, here we have the same thing just displayed with a GUI attached. Below this we have our geometry. So in here, this first block we have definition dp equals 0.01. That is our interparticle spacing. So if you wanted to change the interparticle spacing, we can do that there. Interparticle distance, sorry. So we have that there. Moving on, we have the actual boxes. So we have the fluid cubes and the solid cube. So here we have our first fluid cube which has set mk fluid 1, it has the draw mode which is full, it has the position and it has the name. And then we have the actual box itself, we have the size and where it starts. Below we have our second fluid box, again we have the set mk fluid, we have the draw mode and etc. <clears throat> so that is these two cubes here that we've just shown. There's the MK and the name you can see there. And then again with the right, you can see MK2. If we go back into here, you can see fluid right MK2. Now, if you look at this next part, we have our tank. So we have set MK bound, so our MK for the boundary, which is MK0. We have our draw mode, which is face, so that we have a tank. You can see there we have MK0 and fill mode face. And then again we have the, oh, there we go, we're just showing that we have the face. And then below that we have the size and position of our tank. And at the bottom here, this is a load of calculations that are done when our gen case is run. So we can ignore all of that stuff. If you have any further questions, please refer to the Jules Physics Forum or the Jules Physics XML Guide or contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.